Hello students, I have started creating a new series of videos. So this is the first video uploaded and uh, where we're going to solve previous year's questions of ACS final examination under Assam Higher Secondary Education Council. Right. So first sector is electric charge and electric field uh, of class 12 physics. Right, so this is the first lecture. So I'm gonna complete all the questions which are asked here in the last ten or maybe ten or seven eight years uh, in uh, many parts, not in single video. So next video will be, you know, that that next video when it will be uploaded, that's gonna appear at the end of this uh, video. So what's still done? So do subscribe to the channel also help me to create uh, you know uh, help me to grow my channel and inspire me to create new contents for you right so now let's start so one more thing so one more thing then uh, if you want to follow me on insta this is my insta id oza like it oza like it 123 this is my insta id okay so from here we can uh, obtain the si unit of this uh, permittivity right so as you see si unit of charge is coulomb c then si unit of q2 which is also against charge that is c and si unit of force is newton and si unit of distance square r square that is meter square right so so that's going to be equal to c to the power 2 and to the power minus 1 m to the power minus 2 so this is the si unit of permittivity right so hope you understood uh, can a body have a charge of 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb give region okay so this question was asked uh, in uh, 2012 under uh, some higher secondary education council okay high secondary final examination 2012 so let me give you the answer here you see you know the property of charge that uh, uh, that is quantization of charge according to that so let me give you the answer we know that uh, charge of a body the charge the charge of a body is always an integral an integral multiple of fundamental charge fundamental charge fundamental charge means charge of electron okay that is that is q is equal to q is equal to n into e where e is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and n is an integer okay so now so here you see here q is equal to here q is equal to 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb right so in this case let us uh, check that uh, the value of n is integer or not if it is not integer then a body cannot have this amount of charge okay because according to quantization of charge uh, this q must be integral multiple of e that is e is nothing but this charge of electron and this n must be an integer okay so let's find the value of n in this case how to find that and that uh, q can be replaced by n into e according to the quantization of charge right then e can be replaced by this value of charge of electron right that is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 into 1.8 into 10 to the power sorry equal to 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 19 column right so here 10 to the power 19 10 to the power 19 gone so now let's find the value of n that is 1.8 by 
1.6 that's going to be equal to 18 by 16 so here this uh, 2 9 is 18 2 is 16 so it's clearly 1 and 1 by 8 right so it is mixed fraction so it is not an integer it is not an integer so therefore therefore a body a body cannot cannot have a charge of 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb right so let's take another question so next question is state the goals law of electrostatics okay this was asked in 13 2013 so now let me give you the answer the so goals law of electrostatics states that states that the electric flux the electric sorry the electric flux the electric flux through any closed surface through a closed surface closed surface is you know surface is 1 by epsilon naught times the total charge enclosed by enclosed by the closed surface and here E naught is nothing but the permittivity of free space of free space right now let's take another question so here is the next question what is quantization of charge this was asked in 2015 okay let me answer this question right now you see charge of a body or you can say any charge particle okay any charge particle any charged particle or charged body can have sorry can have a charge can have a charge equal to equal to some integral multiple of the fundamental charge that is charge of electron E is equal to e is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb right so that means charge of a body q is you know n into e where n is an integer e is equal to that i have already mentioned this one right e is equal to this 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb 
this is charge of our body is you know is q is equal to always an integral multiple of the fundamental charge there is charge of electron right there is charge of electron just wait let me rearrange the sentence okay so this is your answer this is what quantization of charge this is known as quantization of charge right so let's take another question so next question is what is the si unit of permittivity so si unit of permittivity is si unit of permittivity is so what is the si unit of permittivity do you remember that if you don't then let me tell you this is nothing but coulomb square per newton meter square right so this is the si unit of permittivity right or simply you can write this way right so this is the si unit of permittivity and if you forget this uh, you know uh, unit in the exam so how to you know recall it how to uh, remember this so let me tell you according to coulomb's law you know electrostatic force between two charges is given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r square which is the distance between the two charges q1 and q2 these two charges and their dis distance between these two charges is suppose r then the electrostatic force between these two charges is given by this force right uh, given by this expression according to coulomb's law so we need to find the unit of permittivity epsilon naught is the si unit of permittivity so here we can write epsilon naught 1 by 4 pi is equal to epsilon naught is equal to 1 by 4 pi into q1 into q2 by f into r square so here this is dimensionless quantity 1 by 4 pi okay so si unit of charge is coulomb then again si unit of charge is coulomb so we have q1 into q2 both are charges right so c into c then si unit of force is newton and si unit of distance square that's going to be meter square so this implies this implies uh, sorry this is equal to nothing but c square by n m square or you can write c to the power to n inverse meter uh, you know inverse to a uh, two inverse so hope you understand this so let's take another question so this is our next question so an electric field in an electric field a unit positive charge is displaced from one point to another point along a straight line okay in an electric field in an electric field a unit positive charge is displaced from one point to another point okay and that length uh, this straight line is two centimeter length okay length of this straight line is two centimeter so now you see then in that case work done is two millijoule right and what if instead of uh, instead of uh, you know a straight line if the part is parabolic of uh, 5 centimeter length then what will be the work done okay this is the question then what will be the work done now you see electric field is conservative in nature that's why the work done in bringing the charge from this point to this point depend, uh, depends uh, you know uh, only 
initial and final point depends on only initial and final point it doesn't depend on the path uh, what kind of path is straight line or parabolic or any other curve it doesn't depend on the path okay so that's why work done will remain same okay so what gonna be the answer in this case here electric field is conservative no. it will be better if you write this way so here just bit it's given that uh, uh, in an electric field a unit positive charge is displaced from one point to another along a straight line along a straight line of length two centimeter then work done is two milliliter two milliliter right of then right and the work okay so if it is if it is displaced along a parabolic part right along a parabolic part of uh, uh, length 5 centimeter right parabolic part of length five centimeter between the same points then the work done will remain same because because uh, you know electric field electric field is conservative And, uh, and what you can write here so as it is conservative right so the work done because uh, the electric field is conservative so the work done uh, you know depends upon depends upon the initial and final position uh. right. initial and final position So it doesn't depend on the, you know, uh, part.
it doesn't depend on the part so the work done remains 2 millijoule right so hope you have understood this now let's uh, uh, let's take another question so here is another question product of permeability of free space and permittivity so choose the correct option so these are the options given here so to choose the correct option you must know this uh, c is equal to 1 by root over product of permeability and permittivity of free space okay so this is mu naught is permeability of free space right permeability and epsilon naught is permittivity of free space okay so if this is the case then squaring both sides you're gonna have one by mu naught epsilon naught and so it's gonna imply mu naught epsilon naught is equal to c to the power minus 2 so this is the product of permeability and permeability of free space so the correct option is fourth option right let's uh, move on to another question so our next uh, question is which experiment established the fact that charge is quantized so that is nothing but millikan's oil drop experiment so answer going to be Millikan's oil drop experiment in uh, nineteen twelve established. the fact that charge is quantized you know. so let's take another question so here is the next question mention uh, the similarity mention one similarity between coulomb's force and gravitational force acting between two stationary charges so you see suppose we have two stationary charges q1 and q2 and distance between them is suppose r then the coulomb force is given by k q1 q2 by r square so here force is inversely proportional to the distance square right so in case of gravitational force suppose you have two masses this is suppose m1 this is m2 distance between them is suppose d squared sorry d then the gravitational force is given by f is equal to capital z small m1 small m2 by d square so here also f is inversely proportional to this distance square right so that means both obvious the in <coughs> inverse is called law right so we're gonna write the answer this way so both both uh, coulomb's force coulomb force and gravitational force between two stationary charges charges obeys the inverse square law right so that is the similarity so let's move on to next question 
so mention one there should be one one difference between mass and charge okay one difference between mass and charge okay so what is actually what do you mean by charge what is charge actually okay charge is the property you know property of property of matter okay property of matter by virtue of which it shows it shows uh, electric effect electric effect right on the other hand on the other hand mass is the property of matter property of matter no uh, which gives uh, which gives the measure of the substance of a body how many electrons are there in a body if its total charge is this so let's uh, calculate this so here you see in this case uh, what is the charge of the body charge of the body is q is equal to in this case 16 into 10 to the power minus 18 coulomb this much charge we have and we know the charge of an electron charge of an electron charge of an electron is given by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb right charge of an electron so number of electrons so number of electrons in one uh, sorry 16 into 10 to the power minus 18 coulomb charge is equal to 16 into 10 to the power minus 18 divided by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 right so now you see it can be written this way 10 to the power minus 17 here 16 into 10 to the power minus 19 right so if you remove this decimal then you're gonna get this or you can write this way you can keep it uh, minus 18 and uh, here you can uh, suppose here you can do one more thing uh, you can make it minus 20 okay you can do this as well right so in that case if you divide this to 16 16 gone 10 to the power minus 18 plus 20 that's going to be 10 to the power 2 that's going to be 100 so there must be 100 electrons okay now let's take another question so here is the next question we hear crackle sound when take off our synthetic cloths or sweater particularly on dry day uh, dry season it happens because of you know static charge
Okay. Static charge is responsible for the crackle sound that we used to hear, right? When you take off our clothes. So hope you got it. Okay. So now let us take another question. So here we have a mathematical expression. So we uh, should uh, fill in the blanks that this expression known as what principle. So now you see this is nothing but uh, you you see uh, this is a superposition principle actually. So this represents force on a charge due to you know uh, multiple charges surrounded as uh, in the surrounding of it okay so this is uh, nothing but superposition principle you can say superposition principle so so hope you have understood and uh, we're gonna solve more questions of this chapter these are only one marks questions we're gonna solve uh, long questions in the next video right so that's gonna appear at the end of this video if uh, uh, when it will be uploaded right so when it will be when the next part will be uploaded it's gonna appear at the end of this video so what's till the end and uh, just uh, hit the thumbs up button uh, subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded right so thank you see you in the next video